Dr. Emsess said he wanted to check the carotids just to make sure that they were working fine. Isn't that what he said? Yeah. People who have risk factors for this, people who have other areas of vascular disease or atherosclerosis or coronary artery disease or have a history of a heart attack or have had a history of a stroke need to get screened, need these tests as part of screening and a follow-up if they're abnormal. This is a silent disease. Oftentimes we get strokes and many strokes without any warning and so it's a good idea in the patients who have high risk for these things to screen those patients. Those are elderly patients, smokers, people with known history of heart disease or strokes, people who are diabetics are the big group of patients that falls into that category. It's a very simple procedure. You just need to show up wearing loose fitting clothes. It's, it entails placing some ultrasound gel right. and an ultrasound scan up and down both sides of the neck. For people with a known history of disease in their carotid arteries already, we usually follow them every six months to a year depending on how bad the blockage is. For people that have never had one, it's always a good idea to screen them and perform one. If that test is normal, in general, we usually don't repeat that for a few years uh, unless there's been a change in the exam or a change in the patient's symptoms, if they were to have any stroke symptoms or mini stroke symptoms, also called as TIAs. And if something's abnormal, uh, usually they need to be followed up by a cardiologist or a neurologist. Um, their primary care physician, obviously the first person they need to follow up with. And a lot of the main treatments for mild blockages or even moderate blockages are aggressive medical therapy. And that's changing your diet, exercising more. If you smoke, stop smoking, and being on the right medications to treat plaque buildup or blockage. It's relatively simple, easy.